Well, who would have thunk it? Welcome back, everybody. Was watching the video uh, a few days ago. Greg Hammond Shortwave Radio is his, uh, the name of his channel. And he discussed putting a jumper, as you see here, on the uh, Yezu FRG 7700 between the uh, shortwave and broadcast, uh, shortwave slash broadcast and broadcast terminals, short jumper wire, and it really helps uh, with the signal uh, for your low wave and the broadcast band. Very impressed. Let me give you a sample of what I'm receiving now and I'll explain to you what I was receiving before. Okay, what we have here is uh, VOCM, and this is uh, St. John's, which is technically about 500 kilometers from me. And I would never, ever be able to re receive this signal um, without, those, without that jumper. Uh, it was just nothing there. Uh, I'll scroll up to uh, the local frequency. Hold on, let's go back. To 570, which is Cornerbrook, which is 90 kilometers away. I would receive that, but it would be only on about 2 dB, about 2 pounds. Uh, the local AM station is 870, which is being broadcasted out of Cornerbrook as well, but there is a uh, tower which is uh, in the Steemel area, which is about maybe about 15 kilometers away and I would receive that best of time at five pounds now as you can see it's uh, right up in about the 10 dB and I don't turn off the music before I get a copyright strike so um, really impressed and of course all the other stations uh, you know here on the East Coast uh, Canada, um, the, the usual ones that you can expect to receive on AM and uh, um, on the on the broadcast band are coming in much clearer now, so I can enjoy it much better. So I just want to thank Greg, um, and that's Ham and Shortwave Radio, for the heads up about uh, this great idea on how to um, lock in better frequencies on um, low wave and medium wave. And uh, before I go, I, I, just to explain what, how Greg explained the situation, you can go over to his channel and have a peek at it. That was his last video he put up. Basically, this uh, Yezu, um, they weren't expecting people to be using the, uh, the balanced 50 ohm um, PL239 attachment in the back of the radio, the antenna connector. Uh, they figured uh, when this radio was made that most people would be just using a random wire in the back so it wouldn't have been an issue but in using the uh, 50 ohm balanced line what you're doing basically is uh, when you're connecting that wire you're allowing the um, the 50 ohm uh, PL239 you know hooked up to a to a uh, to a cable out to an antenna in feed or wherever you have you're allowing it to be able to pick up uh, much better signals so uh, you just drop on over to uh, Ham and Shortwave Radio and uh, get the full lowdown on that. Like I say, I'm not much into the technical part of it, but certainly do uh, enjoy uh, receiving my low wave and uh, broadcast band much better. So uh, thanks everyone for watching.